It's election day, of course, tomorrow, and you're looking live at the White House on what's going to be a busy day of campaigning for both presidential candidates. President Trump started with a midnight rally. He flies to four different states today. Joe Biden is concentrating on one very important state. Tracy Potts has a look ahead at the first at the last full day of campaigning. Gary and Natasha, good morning. Good morning, everyone from a windy Wilmington, Delaware, where they are building a stage behind me for Joe Biden on election night. Now, when he'll come out, what he'll say, that's all up in the air, depending on what happens in the next 48 hours. Stage construction is underway at the Chase Center in Wilmington, Delaware, Joe Biden's election night headquarters at the charcoal pit, one of his local hangouts. People person. Loves walking around, talking to people, loves taking pictures. We found Biden and Trump supporters planning to vote tomorrow. I want to go vote in person. I want to know that my vote was counted. On this last full day before polls open, Biden is back in nearby Pennsylvania. President Trump is terrified of what will happen in Pennsylvania. He knows that the people of Pennsylvania get to have their say. If you have your say, he doesn't stand a chance. Four years ago, President Trump won Pennsylvania by the narrowest margin there in nearly two centuries. State officials predict the vote count could take days. Nearly 2.4 million Pennsylvanians have already cast their ballot by mail. This is going to be 10 times as many as the last time we had a presidential election in Pennsylvania. President Trump starting in Florida this morning and visiting four more states today, including Biden's birthplace, Scranton, Pennsylvania, plus two stops in Michigan. Two days from now, we are going to win the state of Michigan again. It's his fourth trip there in a week. Over the last four years, I fought for Michigan like no one has ever fought for Michigan. Four years ago, he narrowly won Michigan. But a narrow win is a win. The president once again counting on the unexpected. Unexpected because our last NBC News Wall Street Journal poll before Election Day shows Joe Biden with a 10 point national lead. In Wilmington, Delaware, for Nine News, I'm Tracy Potts. Gary and Natasha, back to you in Denver. Tracy, thank you. And as the presidential candidates make their last minute pushes for voters, voters are making their last minute pushes for their candidates, getting out with signs, driving in caravans, even holding mini gatherings at intersections. How about you? Are you sharing your support for a candidate publicly? We've got a poll running on Twitter right now. You can find that on my personal page or Nine News Twitter. In Colorado, nearly two and a half million voters have cast their ballots already, according to the latest Friday numbers. Now, nationwide, NBC News counts more than 85 million ballots have been turned in, more than double what we saw this time four years ago. Caravans are popping up across many states. One has the attention of the FBI now. Joe Biden's campaign staffers called for help after a Trump caravan swarmed a Biden campaign bus between San Antonio and Austin, Texas, Friday afternoon. Biden's campaign said cars surrounded the bus, trying to slow it down in the middle of the highway or run it off the road. But on Sunday, the President Trump said his supporters were, were quote, protecting the bus because they're, quote, nice people. A caravan in Colorado over the weekend, though, was peaceful. A long line of cars rolled down C-470 in support of the president and a different line of cars with painted windows and doors paraded from City Park in Denver to the Martin Luther King Jr. Library in Aurora, urging people to vote. It looks like some people don't want to show up in support of fear of safety, like Amy on her Facebook page. She says there's simply too much hate for her and her family's safety is a top concern. Concern. Taking a look at our Twitter poll that we're running again, we're asking, are you sharing your public support for a presidential candidate? Uh, so far, 865 of you have voted. 61% of you say no, 38% say yes. You can keep voting on our Twitter page.